Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I have a video on how to bypass cellular activation when you are running on an iPhone 4 or iPhone 3GS if you want to try out the iOS 5 beta. If you use your iPhone for an iPod or you use a uh, hacked, I mean a um, unlockable baseband on your iPhone 3GS or iPhone 5, however you do not have a valid SIM, I'm going to show you how to bypass this. It would be very helpful if you had an active UDID. If you do not have an active UDID, uh, click on the link in the description and I can activate it for you for five bucks or you can watch the hacktivation. However, this hacktivation will most likely be patched in iOS beta 2. So it will work for now, but once the beta 2 comes out, you are going to be screwed. In order for this to work, you are going to be needing to run on a Mac. You are also going to want to preserve your baseband. So go ahead if you have not. Um, if you want to try it out and you want to preserve your baseband, uh, Ultra Snow is broken on here. However, if you upgrade with using a Snowbreeze a, uh, custom firmware, it will be able to save your baseband from upgrade. So if you're running on the 1.59 baseband and you just want to go ahead and try it for a couple hours, go ahead and upgrade it using iOS 5 with a beta from Snowbreeze. Uh, the issue with Snowbreeze and Red Snow with the hacktivation is, it, I mean with the activation is it does not hacktivate it so it keeps non-developers um, away from using iOS 5 but that's easily bypassable like I said with the hacktivation found by some, the guy, I forget his name, link me in the description if I remember. So let's get started. In order for this to work, you're going to need to be jailbroken. You are going to need to um, obviously have a Mac. And as of now, I believe Windows, uh, links will be in the description for both firmwares. Have an iPhone 5, have a cable, and obviously have 10.5 iTunes. So um, here's the message that you should get if you do not support a valid SIM. Basically it says the SIM card you have in your phone does not appear to be supported. And then you go ahead and you try to activate it. So we'll go ahead. Alright, so let's get started. So um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to be at this screen. And you are going to want to quadruple click on your home button or triple click. Enable voiceover, voiceover and then triple click it again. Or tr uh, click it until you get voiceover your emergency, emergency call. call. Uh, now you're just going to want to double click the emergency call. Home. It's going to bring up your uh, dial pad. Don't worry, at this point you're not going to make any emergency calls. And even if you were, you are not going to have service. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and let's see if I can back up the camera a little bit. Um, what you're going to want to do is triple click the home button. Go up here, one, two, three. Voice over on. And you see the time? You just want to click on the time. PM. Take Status your three fingers, no. drag down, and you're going to be a notification center. Alert. Hit OK. okay. Button. Okay. Button. Uh, now you can we triple click the home button. button. Turns voice over off, and now you can just go ahead and click the Y button. We have Y logo. Button. All right, now you can tri triple click, one, two, three. Voice over should be off. You're going to hit the home button, and as you see, you are in the uh, springboard. However, you do not have Cydia installed, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Cydia. I mean, I'm sorry, open up Red Snow, link will be in the description. Uh, Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 1. See right there. And very simple, you're just going to uh, browse for it. Uh, so, iOS 5.0. And I'm not going to go too much detail because by now, if you are doing this, you should know a little bit about Red Snow. You're going to hit Next. It's going to do everything. And just to show you that I am, in fact, running um, running iOS 5.0. There you go. Right iOS 5.0. All right, so we'll have Cydia. And what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and hit Install Cydia. Hit Next. Hit next, uh, oops, okay, hit next or once we've powered off the device. Go ahead and power off your phone. All right, so your device should reboot it and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same procedure. Your device will not be activated at this point. We'll just go ahead and, oh, uh, we'll leave the iTunes closed because we have the uh, two, two, Boot tethered, so we'll go ahead and power down our device one more time. Power it off, make sure it's completely powered off.
Alright, so once our device is off, we're going to go ahead and if you've closed Red Snow, go open it back up. Mine has not closed. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit back. Then I'm going to hit just boot tethered. This first option. Hit next, hit next again, and then hold. do the same procedure that you did to uh, jailbreak it. Alright, so we have a screen with a pineapple on it. So I'll just go ahead and pause the video. As you can see, it says done. And it's booted tethered. So uh, this shouldn't take nearly as long as the other one. The uh, original boot should have probably taken five minutes or so. Alright, so once the device is rebooted, you're going to want to go ahead and access the springboard. So it's uh, triple click on the home screen. Uh, the home button, rather. One, two, three. Voice over on. See, uh, take the... Time up there. Status bar. Drag down. Go Last ahead and double click on the Y logo. Triple click the home button again. One, two, three. Stocks. Oh, uh, we'll so one, two, three. Double tap to open. Search one, two, three. Voiceover. Right. Voiceover is now off. And as you'll see, we have City installed. And it opened successfully. Now, what you're going to want to do is if you haven't already, and I didn't tell you to do it, but uh, go ahead and download the program iPhone Explorer, and we're just going to go ahead and open that, oops, I my iPhone wrong, iPhone Explorer, we're just going to go ahead and open that up, and what we're going to want to do is you're going to see it say iPhone up in the corner, you're just going to want to go ahead and click on iPhone, You're going to see it fully called apps and root. You're going to double click on root. And all the way down at the bottom, you're going to see this thing called system. Double click on system. Double click on library. And now you're going to go down to core services. Double go all the way down to where you see spring system version .plist. You can also do this on your device with iFile. It's the same procedure, but it's just easier to show you on the computer. Now you're going to either want to get a plist reader off of uh, off the internet for free or if you have Xcode uh, using Xcode. So you're just going to want to drag the uh, plist version to your desktop. I already have it on there so I'm just going to replace it. Go ahead, oops, and for a second you can minimize iPhone Explorer. Go ahead and double click system version .plist. It's going to open that up, and now you're going to see a string called release type. You're going to want to just go ahead and click, uh, the, select, uh, highlight it, and delete the button. Delete it. Uh, now go ahead and hit File, Save, and we'll exit out. And to show you that it's in fact deleted it, you will now see instead of um, the release type, you are just going to have product version, product name, copyright, and build. So you're going to go ahead and uh, open up iPhone Explorer again and drag that into um, the core services folder. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to overwrite it? You're going to hit yes or okay. It's going to overwrite it. And now on your iPhone, you're not going to notice anything different. You're going to go to Cydia. Click on Cydia. And I'll show you at this point we are still not activated. As you can see it says your SIM card is invalid. You're going to want to go ahead and select developer. Hit done. Or you can really select user or anything but I like to select developer. Now we're going to go down to manage. We're going to hit uh, sources. And hit edit. And add. And you're going to add this source. Repo. Dot Bing nur.com slash so I'll show you that real quick it's repo.bingner.com slash and you're going to be adding something called um, sampref so it's a uh, I'll show you what it is when it's done downloading go ahead and at this time you're going to want to have iTunes closed alright so now you're going to see something it's going to say return to Cydia just go ahead and click return to Cydia now you're going to see it's a bingner going to click on bingner and you're going to go all the way down to Sam Press. You're going to click that. 
gonna hit install gonna confirm it and it's going to install everything and you're going to be redirected redirected to your iPhone so you're going to want to go ahead and just reactivate the springboard so uh, triple click click on the home time drag down double click on Yahoo uh, hit the home button once now triple click one two three double tap to open one two three okay voiceovers off now you're going to see a new icon Sam Pref you're going to go ahead and hit Sam Pref and you're going to want to go down to utilities and now you're going to want to hit deactivate iPhone. All right. And once you have hit the deactivated button, you will be brought to this menu and you also so you'll see it says restore activities where you were just at um, deactivating sim revert lockdown to stock. You're going to want to also go ahead and hit revert lockdown to stock. Uh, you're going to get a stockification and now you're going to see sim notification deactivated. Hit OK. Go ahead and open up iTunes. And now at this point, you should also you should have two things happen. You should have the ability to activate your phone, and your message or your screen rather will change from the old one to this one. You'll see backup activation, deactivate iPhone, or restore activation. Um, what you're going to want to do is not click any of these. Just hit the Sam button. Hit it back one more time. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and hit deactivate iPhone one more time, actually. It will bring you back to this screen. It deactivated it. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to now slide to unlock. And before where it said it could not set up as an iPhone because the SIM was not valid or the server was down, it's going to bypass that, set up as new iPhone. You're going to hit next. You're going to want to sign in. For now, we'll skip that step will don't automatically send hit next and as you see it says start using iPhone so that's pretty simple guys Our only downside is it is a tethered jailbreak so you will have to obviously activate it every time you want I mean tethered boot it every time you want to restart your device but that's how you get around the activation process uh, if you have any questions let me know and then you can go ahead and hit continue Let's go ahead and do whatever you want and let's show you in fact we are running 5.0 software version 5.0 so I hope this helped um, we'll go ahead and I will reboot the device um, so the device is now turning off I'm going to go ahead and tethered boot it just to show you that in fact the activation screen is gone. So I will come back when everything is set up and it's about to be activated. Alright, so the device has rebooted. I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock. And as you saw, we did not have to go through any activation screen. Cydia opens up fine. Everything loads fantastic. And I'll show you one more time. We are still on iOS 5.0. So there you guys go. Any questions? Let me know. Um, if you preserved your baseband with Red uh, with uh, Snow Breeze and you updated, I don't believe Snow um, Ultra Snow is currently supported in iOS 5. But if it is, go ahead and enjoy your unlocked iPhone on uh, 5.0. Remember, it's just tethered jailbreak, so you have to reboot. Everything else works. Once again, this is Apple Fanatic saying peace and enjoy your unlocked, I mean your um